What's going on everybody, JBM, JBM Designs. In this video, I'll be screen printing some Tyler shirts, the left chest and the back print one color design. Um, but I've been so focused on getting my camera set up, I actually forgot to finish getting the job set up. So stick around if you want to see how this print goes. Let's get to it. All right, so I got my screen set up. Today I'll be using this International Coatings Ultimate Black Ink. Um, before I put this on the screen, I have my left chest on the screen and also I have the back print on the screen, on the same screen, because like I said, I'm printing some very small shirts. These are the two T-shirts, and then I got some five and six T-shirts so it doesn't take up a lot of space on the screen but what i do need to do is cover up the back print normally i will cover it up from this side of the screen but i don't want to flood that stencil with any of the ink so i'm gonna cover it up on this side therefore when i'm ready to print the back i really don't have to clean anything it's just ready to go All right, so it's mostly covered up. I'm gonna get another piece so I can just focus on the left chest. All right. Didn't even start my ink yet. But it's black ink, doesn't take long. And it's pretty warm in the garage. So that also helps with the ink being easy to stir. But just to make sure this comes out good, do my test print and see what we are working with. looking very dark so I will be curing with my flash dryer um, it's just gonna speed up the process but this is just a simple left chest logo now what this is this is actually my first customer that I ever had for screen printing they hit me up, I want to say a couple of days ago, asking for youth shirts. I printed the adult shirts for them already. Um, but yeah, this is for a ranch. They have a ranch, horses and everything. They got shirts for their business or for their ranch. I don't know if they're an actual business or not, but it's for my first customer. All right, so now that I got the test print, test print's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just start knocking them out and get it rolling. So one downside to printing these toddler shirts or the two t-shirts is that I only have one toddler palette, which means I gotta print these one by one. On this job in particular, it's not really that bad of a job because I'm only printing six two t-shirts. So it actually is gonna go by pretty quick. It's just the fact that I can't just load them all up and continuously print. Seems a bit of an inconvenience. But what do you do?
All right, so I'm done with my six two t-shirts. And because of the notch that's on the bottom of these pallets, I may or may not be able to use the youth shirts on the five and six T. It depends on how tight it is. I'm gonna try it real quick. But if it's too tight of a fit, when I go to wrap it around or slide the shirt on, I might just have to use the infant palette still because of the notch that you can see that's down here. So depending on how loose of a fit I get, I may or may not be able to use it. And actually it is, it's not bad. It pulls the shirt tight a little bit, but I can work with it. So I don't know what I was thinking about on this job, but I got uh, all three pilots loaded up to do the backs. Um, I did all the fronts of, the, of this pilot one by one, not even using the other two pilots. Man, it's, it's hot in my garage. I don't know if I'm just not thinking straight, but I just wasted all that time when I could have used all three pilots, even though the five, six T's have to be done on those. I can still do the alignment is the same. So, I already got my pallets reset up to do the backs. I got them preloaded for the backs. Now I just I just need to cover up. Where's my tape? Cover up this top stencil right here. And I'm not even going to change the squeegee that I'm using, even though it's a little bit smaller than the print area. I'm just going to use the same, same squeegee. Ooh. All right, and that's the reason, if you can see it, I don't know if you can, why I put the tape on the other side is because this is clean. I don't have to do any additional cleaning. At least I thought about that beforehand. All right, so the top stencil is completely covered up. No ink should pass through. Looking at the alignment of the shirt, everything looks good. And I may need some more ink. So because this squeegee is smaller, slightly smaller than my uh, stencil or the print area, I'm pretty much gonna go on one side and go on the other side. And it should be good enough. Yep, it's good. All right, so looking at the prints on the back, I like the placement of the print on the 2T, but I don't like the placement of the print on the 5-6T. I feel like it's a little bit too high. So what I'm gonna do, I didn't mess it up. The print's fine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it down an inch. By doing that, I'm just going to pull it up on the palette by one inch. Um, and See what it looks like from there. All 
All right, so I'm done with all the shirts. Got all of my 2T. And the shirts that I'm using are rabbit skins. But got all my 2T. I got all my 5, 6T. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but this is the one thing that I like about curing under the flash dryer. And I guess the conveyor dryer as well. I don't have one. But I, I guess it'll be the same result. But if you can see the... Um, Basically, like that shiny, texturized, somewhat finish to the print. If I can get it to focus, yeah. I like that. That looks really good on uh, certain shirts, depending on the style you're or the look you're going for. But these are the two tees. Here's the backs. If I can do it with one hand. And like I said, the placement down from the collar on the two t um, it looks pretty good to me. I like the way it turned out. Why is it not focusing? There we go. I like the way it turned out on here, but on these first two, I thought it looked a little higher. Straighten this shirt out. This is 560. Alright, so I thought the placement looked just a little bit higher from the bottom of the collar. So what I did was I dropped this down one more inch on the rest of them. And I think it looks good enough. Because I mean, these are little kids that's wearing these. You can see it looks a bit different from that one. Just coming down that one inch. And it's still right across the, uh, the back of the, the body or the shoulder i don't even know what part of the body i'm trying to call it right now but that's the print back in the front one more shot at this this is their logo come on now focus there we go all right y'all so that's it for this one i got 12 shirts knocked out um simple front left chest logo on the back print um so yeah Hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And as always, y'all be yourself, be your best. I'm JBM. I'm out.